Hi, in this week's episode of Tweaks with Tweak, we're going to make a welcome mitten to put on your door. And we'll show you how to do step by step. We're going to make this one. Join us. Hi, this is Tweak. Today we're going to make a welcome mitten. That's a door hanger or wall hanger that you make out of wood and then you paint it. That's the fun part for me. But first you've got to make the wooden mitten. And here's what it looks like before it's painted and how it's made. Watch and see. The mitten's made, how are we going to paint it? Let's see. I'm going for an ombre effect. I'm going to use blues. This is all kind of on the fly as far as I'm trying to decide what colors do I want to use. 
I want it to start dark, go to light. I'm gonna add some stripes and embellish a little bit because I'd like it to look like a sweater mitten. Those are all the rage right now. I'm going to end up with stripes in my mittens and then I'll embellish them. For right now, I'm gonna start it with the blue. I'm just gonna go directly right onto the wood. And I'm not gonna be real fussy about it. I'm just gonna lay it down. I'm gonna get an idea here of how thick I want my stripes because I do know I want a striped mitten. I'm gonna take some blue. This for me is the fun part. Trying to decide where to start, where to stop. And it all comes together in the end. It really does. I like these pre-mixed paints so I can just apply them right to the wood. Okay, I've got some blue down. I'm gonna keep these colors set aside so I keep referring back to the same palette. Whatever I choose to do here, so we've got a blue. What color would we like next? Well, I'm feeling like a purple would be pretty. I don't know why, I'm just rounding with it here. So I'm gonna add some purple right across. Getting a little more bold here. Got blue and purple so far. These uh, sweater mittens are really fun. They take old sweaters and take them apart and create mittens out of them. They're so warm. I have a couple pairs that my sister gave me. So I'm gonna add some of this turquoise. Ooh, it's like a teal blue. <laughs> wow, that's bright. I'm letting the colors kind of bleed into each other. I don't mind that. You can make your whole mitten one color if you wanted to. Basic striping is what I'm doing right now. You can either reverse the sequence going back down the mitten. I can come through and alter it if I want to. You leave a big section of color in the middle and then repeat the stripe on the bottom. So right now I'm still kind of planning, seeing what I want to do here. I like the color combination, it's nice. And if you don't like it, just wait for the paint to dry and do it again. <laughs> down this way. I'm going to make a little bit further. Let it feather in. For this part I'm just using one. One simple brush. Nothing fancy. So now that I have my stripes set up, I'm going to go back through with each color and catch between the slats and around the edges. Here we go. I'm doing it this way. No two mittens will end up being alike. Well, each will have its own unique mitten quality. Something about smearing on the paint that just is relaxing. The color's so pretty. Anything I don't like right now, I will embellish with other colors. As soon as we get the basics down here. So now I want to decide, since so I've got my stripes all set up, what are the complementary colors? Now think of a mitten. A mitten usually has a bunch of colors in it, so it makes it fun. So I'm definitely gonna go with a cream. I want a couple highlighty colors, so let's find a cream color. Okay, there's a cream that I like. But before I use that one, I'm going to take one of these colors here and pull it in to the color above it or below it as I go. And the way I'm going to do that, you could take your brush and you could paint circles, but a way faster method is to get a fat pencil or something that has a flat end on it and then choose your color. So I'm gonna pull this light color up into this one, and I think I'm gonna pull this color up into that, and so on as I go up the mitten. So I'm gonna put a little bit of this on. We got some here, but I wanna be able to dip this end of this pencil. It's a number two kid's pencil. I'm just gonna dip it in. So you have some on the, the end. And then I'm just going to come up one, two. So I'm just catching the edge of the paint. Trying to make and come back again later if I want to. So I'm just going to go across, 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 across. 
Simple, right? And what you end up doing is you end up making a really cool pattern across the mitten. This is, this is when it gets fun. So you see, they can go back and you can fill them in a little more, but I'm gonna embellish them a little more too with the cream color. But right now, I'm just gonna take any place I have this light blue, make it move into the teal. So I've been using my eraser tip as my round circle dot. Now I want to go smaller and add some more dots. I think I'm going to use a smaller pencil. Lost its eraser and I'm going to start adding dots inside the dots. Let's see, I'm going to use a cream color. And here we go. Dots, 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 more dots. dots between the dots. Just a dot there. There. Dotting and dotting and woo, it's very, very, very colorful. I'm liking it, but I want to put something. If you look at a mitten, they sometimes have a pattern on the inside that doesn't really relate at all, but all makes sense. And I'm thinking of a little, I'm bringing in one more color and it's going to pop. Now I haven't tried this yet, but I like this green here. So I'm going to go back to my thickest circle. I'm going to make like a flower pattern. Let's hope this works. If it doesn't, I'll just paint over it. So I'm going to put in the center of each board here floral pattern. It's part of the fun. How's it going to turn out? Oh, we're going to find out. So I'm thinking of a one, two, three. And then this one will be a little bit different. So it's going to be like little flowers. A little bit bigger flower. I'm just going to touch and I'm going to make a little wavy pattern with the dots with bright white. Wow, here we go. So I'm just going to go dot, 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 dot. While the mitten's drying, I'm going to work on the bottom piece to the project. And this is cut to look like a piece of wood, and it is wood, but I'm going to make it look like birch. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some white and just very, very lightly go over the wood until I get a white that I like. I'm just going to keep washing over it. A birch tree has kind of a translucence to it. Whiter in spots, darker in spots. And then I'll bring in some grays and blacks to make it look more like the bark of a birch looks. I like that some of the creamy color of the wood shows through.
got our mitten all painted and we've got our birch piece painted. Next is time to paint this little piece and that's going to say, we're going to hang it on the mitten to say warm welcome. So I'm just going to put this in pencil. I can erase it if I want. Warm. My e L C O M E. So I've got that on there, and I'm going to take some paint. And I want to use the same color I used for the base, which was the dark blue. is done and now I have to shellac the mitten, the log, and the warm welcome that I just got done with. So let's do that. Get to it. Here we go. Everything has been varnished. We've got a little welcome sign and measured out where it's going to hang on the mitten Then added some wire and some hooks and this piece of wood here comes, hooks down here. And the welcome sign, I wanna make sure everything drilled in all our pieces. And this project is completed. Let's see how it looks. And there you have it. Oh my goodness, look at that, ready to put on any door, no matter what the weather, there's always a warm welcome at our house. If you like what you've seen here today, give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and be sure to ring that bell so you know when our next episode will be. I sure hope you enjoyed this one as much as I did. See you again. Mm -hmm.